What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. I do not know why, but today I woke up and I was feeling Baxcalibur. I want to use Baxcalibur all day, so I found an absolute banger of a Baxcalibur team to use on the Series 3 ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you leave a like on today's video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. We just hit 20,000 subscribers. So seriously, thank you guys so much for supporting me and get me to that milestone. Also guys, memberships are now live. If you guys do want to become a member, support me a little bit extra, make sure you hit that join button. If you do not see the join button, I got you guys. Link is down in the description below. There's a link to become a member. So I know the join button is acting a little whack on my channel as of recently. So I added a link down in the description below to help out people who do not or who can't find that join button. But another thing I want to go over is a huge shout out to our first member, Glitzy. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Really does go a long way. I'm going to be trying to show, shout out all of our uh, members. So again, if you want to become a member, get a shout out. I'll give it to you. But with that all out the way, we can get started here with today's team preview. We have Arcanine chilling here as our first Pokemon. Arcanine has been phenomenal in the Series 3 ladder. Really, really good. And it's really good, especially when Shen Pao is on the field. He has Intimidate, the Safety Goggles as his item, Rock and Flare Blitz, will was East Speed, and Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be Palafin. Everybody knows Palafin is an absolute unit when it gets to that hero form. He has Mystic Water, and then probably the best moveset for any Palafin, Jet Punch, Wave Crash, Haze, and Protect. Baxcalibur is in our third slot, and like I said, I was feeling Baxcalibur today, so I'm super excited to use this Pokemon. He's got Thermal Exchange, the Loaded Dice as his item, Rock and Glaive Rush, Icicle Spear, Ice Shard for first turn priority, and last but not least, it has Protect. We got Fluttermane in our fourth slot, but not just any Fluttermane, this is a choice spec Fluttermane. He's got Protosynthesis, then Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Dazzle Gleam, and Thunderbolt, which is an amazing moveset for a choice spec Fluttermane. Fifth Pokemon is going to be our support Amoongus with Regenerator and Citrus Berry. Moveset is pretty normal and straight up with Palm Puff, Spore, Rage Powder, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be our solo Legends of Ruin Pokemon. It is going to be Ting Lu. Vessel of Ruin to drop that special attack on the field. It's got the Assault Mess as item, Rockin' Payback, Heavy Slam, Stomping Tantrum, and then last but not least, the Dreaded Fisher move for one hit KOs. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rental code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this loaded dice Bax Caliber Series 3 team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our first match. We're going up against a really cool team, a Meet Alskarada Series 3 team with Chiyu, Gyarados, Shen Pao, Lycanroc, and Iron Valiant. So they have a lot of different variety with their team. Really, really cool. But how should I go into this one and how should I lead it? I feel like. Arcanine could be really good. Sorry, I was just thinking there, but I feel as Arcanine could be really good. They have five physical attackers, so I think Arcanine is going to be your play. Alongside with Palafin, try to get that Pokemon into its hero form and then go in with Baxcalibur and Ting Lu. I can get down with that, or we might not even want to bring Ting Lu. Trying to think right here, do we even want to bring Ting Lu? Because I could just bring in Fluttermane, and Fluttermane is going to be super effective onto three of those Pokemon with a fairy move. Three with a fairy move. One with an electric move. So I could just go Fluttermane because Tink Lu, again, not going to get any crazy value with only Chiyu as their only special attacker. So I kind of like going in Fluttermane. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We're locking it in. Let's get after it. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one and start this video off strong. I'm hoping Baxcalibur gets some work done. Love that Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 9. I feel like that Palafin and maybe like Cerule Edge would be like my top three from Gen 9. I really do like Gen 9's Pokemon. I feel like they have a, a lot of bangers. I feel like they do. But I feel like that goes for every single game. You know, every time a new game comes out, you're like, eh, I don't know how I feel about that Pokemon. And then you start to play the game a little bit more and you're like, yo, that Pokemon's actually really cool. It's kind of how Sword and Shield went. Sword and Shield, I didn't really like the Pokedex at first. And then I started playing. I was like, dude, these Pokemon are awesome. <laughs> They're all awesome. But Intimidate's going to come in hot here. Do us wonders. He's also going to intimidate us. And I think I'm just going to th start throwing burns on his Pokemon. So do I burn the Lycanroc? I could just Will-O-Wisp uh, Gyarados. I could Terrasilize. I could Terrasilize Arcanine, which would probably be our best bet, right? I think doing that and just throwing burns left and right is going to be our play. So I'm going to burn him, and I think I might just go into Flutter. Do I go into Flutter? Yeah, we'll go into Choice, Ge Choice Specs Flutter and swap our Palafin. I really do like that. We're, at the same time, we are going to Terrasilize Arcanine because A, Water is super effective onto it, and B, Rock is super effective. So changing our typing is going to be big time for us. And plus, if I keep Arcanine out on this field, just getting off uh, Will-O-Wisp, I think that will work wonders. 
I really do. So they're already both minus one, which is really good. We're minus one, but again, I'm just using my Arcanine to throw burns and kind of just pester the Pokemon for the whole battle. Because once you get a burn on Pokemon, it's big time. It's big time for pretty much the whole match. Drill Run's going to come in here. Good Water Terror from us. Arcanine's going to outspeed. We're going to be able to Will-O-Wisp before Gyarados even goes. That's a solid, solid turn from us. Solid turn from us. He's going to end up D-Dancing, which I don't mind. I mean, that boosts his speed, but it's nothing crazy. I could choice to Electric Move if I want to. I could do that. I could definitely do that. Or do... What do, What should I do here? I think I might just burn the Lycan Rock and then swap it. And choice to a Dazzling Gleam. I think choosing the Gleam is going to be, be our best bet, right? I think Choice and Dazzle Wings are best bet. Doing some crazy damage on him. Waterfall's gonna fly here. Doing like no damage. He's minus one. He's burned. Iron Head's gonna fly. And that might KO us. It does KO us. Kinda hurts the soul. Kinda hurts soul that that KOs us. But still, I think we're I think we're sitting in a decent spot. Will O Wisp is gonna miss. That kinda hurts soul. That kinda hurts. But from here I can just straight up bring out uh Bax Caliber and I can start ripping, right? I think bringing out Baxcalibur is going to be in play. Bring out Baxcalibur, and the real question is this Ice Shard KO. I could Ice Shard at East Speed if I want to. Double down Lycan Rock. I think Ice Shard might be able to KO. So I really just want to swap. I really just want to swap into you and have Intimidate for later, and then just Ice Shard and look for the KO here. I think it KO. Lycanroc's not that bulky. Lycanroc is not that bulky of a Pokemon. So I'm really hoping Ice Shark can just KO. And then we can have Intimidate for later usages. I'm not too worried about the Gyarados. I really am not. Ice Shark's gonna fly. Give me the KO. Cool. Cool, cool. Fingers crossed for it and it worked out perfectly. So we get rid of him. What are you going for, Gyarados? He's gonna go for a Dragon Tail, which we should be able to soak. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Don't mind it. But it makes me swap out, which is just going to bring back out Intimidate. <laughs> so, I guess that's fine. I mean, hopefully he throws out another physical attacker that we can just burn. And we can just go from there. Okay. The now thing is, oh, he's actually minus one now. He was plus, he was even because he Dragon Dance. I totally forgot about it. But he's, now he's minus one and burned. He's not doing anything crazy. I'll just leave him on the field and let him do his thing. Masquerada is going to be the next Pokemon that comes out here, and I feel like from here we just have to protect you, and then just rock a Flare Blitz into it. He might Terrasilize it, but at this point, it's a play. He's not going to Terrasilize, which I like. So I protect my Palafin. Seed Bomb's going to come into that slot, and that's perfect. Oh, you're actually going after you! We survived. That worked good. You should outspeed. Okay. Luckily, we outsped there. Because now we get rid of Miascarada. Thankfully we outsped there. <laughs> Thankfully we outsped. That was a great call by him. To actually read the read the protect and just go after my Arcanine. Because we needed that Arcanine to take out that Miascarada. So we got rid of the Miascarada. We got rid of the Lycan Rock. Again, I'm not too worried about Gyarados on the field. He's not going to do anything crazy. You guys seen how much damage he already did to uh, Bax Calibur. We just have to worry about crits. Crits are, is, is our only problem right now with Gyarados. Burned him, he's minus one. We got Palafin. They still have Terra, though. They still have Terra, but I'm thinking of just doubling down into whatever Pokemon comes out here, which is potentially Shen Pao, right? Potentially, it's going to be Shen Pao. It is Shen Pao. So the Shen Pao ski comes out here. Kind of scared. Not going to lie. Kind of scared. And we're going to have to start ripping into that thing. Um, we'll just Jet Punch it, and then on top of that, do an Ice Shard, do a Glaive Rush. I think we go for the Glaive Rush. Just getting off damage on that thing. We all outspeed. Shen Pao's gonna go first, but then both my Pokemon outspeed his Gyarados. So, Jet Punch gonna come through here, do some killer damage. Probably should just Ice Shard. He is gonna stick a sword, and he's gonna drop me. So, I should just Ice Shard at that. I should just Ice Shard it. The Dragon Tail's gonna fly here. That's fine. Doing like five damage, and we're chilling. So, again, I'm not worried about Gyarados. I really am not worried about Gyarados. So I'll just keep targeting down that Shen Pao. Even though I think Shen Pao protects here. I really do think Shen Pao protects. I just think going after him is a call. 
even like even though I think he does protect. And he doesn't. So we're gonna get rid of Shen Pao here. Gyarados is not doing anything crazy. As long as he doesn't get a crit, we should win this match. But he's gonna D-dance. That's fine. I guess I'll just jet punch this turn and then jet punch the next turn. So he D-dances up. He's still what is he? Now he's even on attack. And he's burned. Cool. I'm fine with that. Two jet punches should be able to do enough damage to finish this thing off. And I think we're thriving. I think we're thriving. So burns early on from Arcanine is going to definitely come in clutch here. But I'm going to go for a jet punch. Deal some damage. Take no recoil. Play this one slow. And we'll see what he wants to do. Burn is super clutch. We're just hoping no crits, right? Crits are going to be the thing that, that, that do me dirty. Even with a crit, I think we should be able to eat up one of his shots. I'm really curious to see what he does here. He's got to know we're going for a jet punch, right? Like, <laughs> you're outspeeding me. It's pretty much all I have. But I was very surprised with the no protect on that Shen Pao. And our opponent just cancels battle. We take that all day. What a hot start for today's video. We're 1-0. Second match coming at you guys, going up against a Roaring Moon team, alongside with Arcanine, Iron Hand, Stellybird, and then Amoongus and Gargonackle. So no Legends of Ruins Pokemon, which is really good for us. I mean, they have a few special attackers, but mostly physical attackers. We could bring in Tinglu if we want to, only if we want to. But again, they have a lot of physical attackers, so I feel as, again, Arcanine is going to be a great Pokemon for our lead. So I'm going to end up leading Arcanine, and I might end up leading you. I could end up leading you. I could just bring Ting Lu in as a lead, as a Pokemon. I could definitely do that. Ting Lu could be solid, especially if Delibird is going to come out here. I kind of like that. And plus, Fisher could always be good. So, you know what? I'm going to go Ting Lu. I'm going to go Arcanine. That's going to be my play all day. We are also going to bring back Excalibur. And then in the final slot, we got to go Fluttermane, right? Flutter, Fluttermane. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves one here in match number two and go back to back for today's video always good to start off your video 2-0 because then the third and final battle is all chill it's all relaxed really really dope but yo i'm super stoked for regulation d when uh pokemon home and all that stuff that you can use those pokemon and uh i was reading some comments and people were like yo jeans you should actually start playing some casual battles with regulation d teams if you guys want to see that let me know in the comment section down below and if you guys have regulation d teams i would love to get my hands on it either leave them in the comment section down below here or get them to me over on my Twitter page. If you are a member, I will use Priority, and I will definitely be using your guys' team. But I'm looking for a Greninja team, a Charizard team, Typhlosion, cool Pokemon that I haven't showcased or that are not allowed in this series. So really looking for those teams. Greninja and Charizard are on my top two list. Separate teams, because, you know, got to make separate videos. But we're going to go in with Double Intimidate. Um, I think I'm just going to throw... Oh, I cannot burn you, actually. I think I'm just going to swap my Arcanine here into like Vax Caliber. And you know what? I'm gonna say I can land Fishers because I'm the man. And I'm gonna go for a Fisher in the Gargle now. So if it misses, I can just stop and cancel next turn and it's gonna be double damage. But if we hit, we get rid of Gargle now. So that could be really good for us. But I'm gonna swap into my Vax Caliber, get my Intimidate and have this Pokemon in for later. And he's gonna end up wide guard. What did you think I was going for? EQ maybe? Nah, so I'm going for Fisher. So now he's will o -Wisp me. I feel like Fishers are only call now. I feel like we only drop Fishers and we try to land him. Hopefully we can land our first one. That could be big time for us. We miss it. We're going to be on a rough train here. Rough, rough train. Rough, rough train. It's just going to be rough. Okay. So from here, I'm going to go for a Gleam Rush. I could Terrastalize into Poison, which is not bad. But I'm just going to go for a Glade Bush. I'm looking to get off as much damage as I can. And we're going to say screw it. We're going to go for another Fisher into the Garbo. So, so Arcanine ends up just straight up protecting. Come on, Tinglu. I need you. Need you here. Need you now. I need you now. Because he's going to salt clear me. I need you now. Thank you, my man. My man, Pots and Pants. Coming in clutch here with a big time Fisher. So take that all day. Take that all day. Even if we miss a Glade Rush, is, do we still take double damage our next turn? We might. I might just protect them and just try to keep landing Fishers. That might be <laughs> that might be my play. That might be my play. Just see if I can land a bunch of Fishers. The Iron Bundle's going to come out here. This might be time to get after the Iron B, right? While this thing's on the field, I think we go straight after him. I'm going to try to Fisher Arcanine. Screw it, man. We're burned. We're not going to do any, any crazy damage. Let's just try to land these fishers. 
Let's just try to get after it. If we can land a Grave Rush onto, uh, onto Deli Bird, that'll be huge, because that's some big time damage. That's hilarious. We're just landing Fisher. So he's going to go for the Icy one here. That's fine by me. We're, gonna, we're about to land another Fisher. It's about to be awesome. It's about to be sweet. It's about to be the coolest thing ever. He goes for a Flare Blitz. That is not KOing me. Not in the slightest. Watch this. Another Fisher. Bang. Coming, coming at you guys. Back to back Fisher lands. We got this Glade Rush cooking, which should do a nice chunk of damage. Awesome. I can nice shard you down. What I tell you? What I tell you? Stay hot, jeans. Stay hot. I'm sorry, opponent. I, I want to apologize to him. I feel terrible. I feel terrible because I know myself and I'd be freaking out if that was happening to me. I'd be losing it. I'd be livid. I'd be livid. But hey, I was expecting that to miss. We'll take that. And uh, I think we're fine here. You know, I can just go for another Fisher into the Iron Hand slot. And I'm just going to go into a Ice Shard to finish off the Iron Bundle. We're at a 66% rate with the Fisher. I think our opponent cancels, right? I would. I feel bad. I, I apologize. I apologize. But hopefully you guys are loving this. Because we are just dominating today. We're going to be 2-0. Oh. Too easy, man. Come on, man. That's too easy. Iron Bundle is going to protect... We're about to land another Fisher and go 75% with these. We're about to do it. Our opponent's going to be so upset when we, when we land this right here. Watch. Watch this, guys. It's going to be sweet. Watch this. He's like, oh, I'll set up a Sword Stance. You're dead. You're dying to this Fisher because I'm landing it. I don't miss my Fishers. I miss my Fisher. All right. That's fine. Stopping Tantrum is going to be double damage now. I might as well just dump on, uh, or get some damage off onto that. So I'm just going to go into an Ice Shard here. And I might as well just go into a stomping tantrum. Try to finish that off. But I do have Arcanine for the back end. Once I swap him in there, he drops some attack. But I, th I think we're thriving here. I can burn him too. And then I have... Who do I have? Do I have Fluttermane in the back end? Uh, I believe I do. I believe I brought Fluttermane. Which Fluttermane would be perfect for this Pokemon. So we'll see what our opponent wants to do. He might go for double protect. He opts to not, and I do not pick up the KO, which really hurts his soul. Really hurts his soul. Another one will KO, which is good. Speed's gonna drop. He's gonna drain punch me. He's gonna take me out. Okay, I see you. I see you. I understand. I understand. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go to Arcanine now. We shall go into Arcanine, and I'm just going to look for a burn. I know Ice Shard should KO now, so I'm just going to go for an Ice Shard. If he doesn't protect, he doesn't protect. I think we just play this one really slow, and we take the win, right? He probably protects Deli Bird. Yeah, that's that's fine. I, I saw that coming, but I was just Ice Sharding just in case. He's going to Dream Punch my back's Caliber. We just need to land this will o pretty much, right? Because I can E-Speed him with Arcanine next turn. Just land a will o -Wisp. Thank you. Thank you. So now he's only plus one, but he's burned, which is huge. So big time burn. Gonna go into, oh, another sword dance. That is fine by me. That is fine. Now he's plus three. That's a little scary, but again, we are still, we're still fine. We got, we got the choice. We got the choice bugaboo in the back end. We're going to an ice shard now to finish you off. And do I flare butts? Or you know what? I should just do this. I mean, he KOs me anyway. I might as well just Glade Rush that and E Speed the Deli Bird. Deli Bird lands double protect. Okay, I feel you. I understand. That's fine. E Speed's gonna get blocked. I understand. I am kind of scared, actually. I'm actually terrified. This Drain Punch KOs me. We're gonna E Speed now, and he might terrestrialize. I actually might lose this. I might lose this. Cause does he still have Terra? Almost positive he still has Terra. Almost positive Terra is still here. I got a choice to a move. I still have Terra as well. That's the thing, if you terrestrialize in the grass, that's totally fine because I can just flare blitz you. So I'm just going to go into a Moonblast here. So I'm going to Terrasize my Flutter, man. This is actually coming down to it. 
the double swords dance play was huge, and that double protect was pretty big there too. Because now I have to waste a turn going for an E speed here. Oh, he is going to terrestrialize. Okay. Oh, this is tough because I'm choicing this. Is that grass? Curious. Is it grass? It is grass, so I just need to pretty much eat up a shot here, right? He's got to be going after my Arcanine, which is really scary, actually. E speed's going to KO you. I'm not dealing with you, Deli Bird. Moonblast is now gonna fly. How much damage can Moonblast do? I knew I should choice into something else. Shadow Ball would have been the play. How much damage are you doing, Moonblast? A lot. Okay, that actually works out perfectly. That's a good amount of damage. Of course you have the Citrus Spray. That Citrus Spray really does me dirty. And I wonder if you're still going for Drain Punch. You are gonna go for Drain Punch. Can you eat that? Okay, cool. We win this game. Ooh, they were scaring me. Again, I, I, my conclusion was right. If we get off the burn, we win this match, and that's 100% what happens. Burn comes up clutch, even though he's plus three. Burn just halves his damage, and it just makes us makes that Pokemon so weak. So now we're just going to Moonblast. We're going to Fire Blitz. Two Fishers coming in clutch. Our opponent's definitely upset. Definitely, definitely upset. This one Moonblast might just finish it off. What am I hitting hard with this choice spec? Oh, my God. Hitting like an absolute truck. But there it is, 2-0. Let's hop into our third. Go grab you guys a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a parakeet. I forget that thing's name. I think it's actually Squawkabilly. Squawkabilly, that's exactly what it is. Love that name. But we're going up against a Squawkabilly team with the Dunsparce and my boy Klefki. I love me some Klefki. I know a lot of people hate Klefki, but I love the, the uh, little jingly keys. They also have uh, Annihilate, who's top tier. And then Ting Lu and Tatsugiri's team is rather scary, right? You can set up screens. You can do a lot. I'm kind of scared, but at the same time, I feel as we can pull this one out. How should we go into it? How should we lead it? I think getting Palafin is going to be top tier. So I'm going to lead the Palafin. I'm going to lead the Palafin. Try to get that swap going. And if they set up screens, we really can't do anything about it, right? We can't do anything about it. We could bring a Moongus in the back end. Moongus, not so bad. Not so bad. I could go in with you as a lead. I kind of really like you as a lead. I'm not going to lie. I mean, if Ting Lu comes out here, a little bit of a problem. Making me want to go into a Pokemon like you. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring Fluttermane in the back end. And then do I bring Arcanine? Or do I bring my own Ting Lu? I think I just bring all my physical attackers, right? <clears throat> I'm about it. I'm about it. We're 2-0. We're we already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. This third and final match, just for fun. It's just for fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. We are killing it. Fishers were lucky. We went 50%. We went two for four on Fishers last match. Mwah. It's just what I do. It's just what I do. That is an amazing rate because they're 30% they're accuracy. So we should have went one for four. Any Anything like one for four would have been like normal. 25% would have been normal. But who just... In, wait. Squawkabilly has Intimidate? Hold up. That's wild. Squawkabilly has Intimidate. That's it. I'll send it right back at him. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna Icicle Spear the Squawk Billy down. This thing has Intimidate? What kind, what kind of parrot has Intimidate? You know what? Out of here. No parakeet. Look at him just flapping around. I think it's hilarious. I think it's hilarious. So we'll Intimidate right back, because we're not playing around. We're not playing around. There's the screens. I, I knew those were coming. Clefkey's a beast. Parting shot. Yo, this thing's nasty. This thing's nasty. It's quick, too. I'm gonna have to swap my Bax Caliber. This thing has Intimidate, and all the physical attackers are on my team. This one's gonna be tough for us. Annihilate's gonna come out here. I'm gonna have to burn that thing. We're gonna do like five damage to that thing. A minus two, plus they have a reflect. Oh my god. Zero damage. And I'm just boosting this thing. I'm just boosting this thing. His Rage Fist is going to be through the roof. Yeah, this is, uh... This is looking like an L for us. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> We're getting steampumped right now. Steampumped early on here. We're going to willow Wisp you. And then... Psh, hopefully he's going for, like, a Drain Punch into Fluttermane. So we're gonna go into Fluttermane. Fluttermane's like our last hope. I mean, then he just sets up a Light Screen. It's like, oh lord. 
I mean, my Fluttermane can still hit like an absolute truck. It's awesome. We got out the Fluttermane. We might even swap. He's gonna Terrasilize. Okay, I feel you. I understand. I see. Oh, it's Fire Terror. He's gonna stop the burns, man. Don't tell me it's Fire Terror. Oh my god, we're getting steamrolled. <laughs> this one's over. <laughs> as long as we don't get swept, we're gonna get absolutely clapped here. I'm gonna play. I'll give him a round of applause. Round of applause. I'm gonna bulk up. Yeah, where is he? This is a tough one. Let's see what Klefki goes for. Light screen next turn. It's gonna be tough. He has Gleam. It's getting ugly real quick. Getting ugly real quick. Getting ugly real quick. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll Flare Blitz to Klefki. I'll go for a Shadow Ball into Annihilate. Right, stab. He's gonna light he's gonna light screen up though. If he doesn't light screen up, we have a shot at KO in this thing because we hit so dang hard. But there's the light screen, which is terrible for us. God dang light screen. Shadow Ball is gonna fly here. Chuck up some damage. Probably not crazy. Yeah, oh my lord. The flare Blitz is gonna fly. Let's get rid of Klefki. We gotta get rid of Klefki at least. We can't get swept. We don't get sweep. We do not get swept. Drain punch comes in hot. We're able to soak, which is pretty good for us. Um, we do outspeed this little booger, so I guess another Shadow Ball is going to be your play. We might hard swap into Squawkabilly, I ain't going to lie. Oh, but this is bad. I don't think I have a way of taking that thing out. Actually, I have my Palafin, but I don't want to swap in Palafin. I'd rather just let, I'd rather just let Arcanine die than bring out Palafin. The Klefki goes for a Thunder Wave. Smart cookie play, but no sweep for them. I'm KOing this Klefki. I'm KOing that Jingly Keys. The Jingly Keys is gone. Um, is he targeting down my Fluttermane? Probably, right? He could go for a Rage Fist into that. Yep, and now Squawk of is going to come out here, which is a pain because I really want to go into Palafin. I really want to go into Palafin, but I can't, right? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm, 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 mm. We know Squawk oh, he's coming. I'll just go Baxi. We'll go Baxi here. Tough, man. This is tough. Is it Squawk Billy? It is Squawk Billy. This dank bird, man. <laughs> this dank bird. <laughs> um, I might just ice shard it. He might just go for a party shot. I'm gonna double down in this thing. He's taking me out with Drain Punches. We gotta maybe turn this into a 1v1. Have a fight gone and just wave crash and take that thing out. That's like our only, only way of winning this match. Only shot. I think Squawkabilly, man. They got Squawkabillies and screens. Deadly combo. He speeds flying out here, doing like no damage. Ice Shard isn't gonna do anything crazy either. Another Ice Shard might be able to KO. Brave Bird coming in hot for this thing. This thing is ridiculous. And he's gonna pick up a double KO. I'm terrified. Can he miss or something? Nope, I'm dead. I survived. Hold up, wait a minute. So you're saying there's a chance. How many turns is left in the reflect? That's my real question. I really need to know how many turns is left in reflect. I really need to know. He might just swap the squawk ability. How many turns left in this reflect? Because I would love to protect. I would love to. Three? What? Oh, wait. Why does... This makes no sense, right? How does Reflect have eight turns, but Light Screen has five? That makes no sense, right? This makes no sense, correct? Is there an item that boosts only Reflect? Because Light Clay boosts both. So I'm very, very confused on this. How is one eight? Klefki brought them both in. It's weird, but I gotta make a move. I gotta go for a wave crash and that thing, and I gotta go for an ice shard and squawk ability. That's weird. We get a crit. I knew you were withdrawing too. I knew it. I just didn't have enough time to think about it. <laughs> That's weird, right? Tatsugiri's gonna come out here. I I feel ya. Wave crash should come out here first. How much damage is this gonna do? Did we miss him? Oh, he storm drained. That was a great call. This guy, this guy's got my number. This opponent just steampumped me, dude. Absolutely clapped me. I can't hit him now. He has, he has Storm Drain. I think he brought the perfect team for my, for my team. 
everything worked perfectly for him. The Klefki coming in clutch with the screen, Squawk ability getting work done, Storm Drain getting it done, and then Annihilate just being the one to clean everything up. So GG's to our opponent. We didn't get swept though, we go 2-1 for today's video. Absolutely love the team that we used today. Super, super strong for Series 3. So if you're looking for a strong Bax Caliber team for Series 3, I recommend this one. This one you can definitely push the high ranks and definitely get in the master tier with. But 2-1 for today's video. Awesome, awesome set of battles. We lost that third one to a great opponent. So cannot complain about that. Really cool. We actually got that one on video because that opponent combo was absolutely amazing. But still, 2-1 winning record. Used this team really, really well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread a positive day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.